Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to talk all about the anatomy of a nail. The nail unit consists of the fingernail, which is made of hardened plates of keratin, and its surrounding tissues that make up the distal dorsal surface of the fingers and toes. Nails are one of four main appendages that, along with the skin, make up the integumentary system. The other three appendages being the hair, sweat glands, and the sebaceous oil glands. Now believe it or not, our nails do serve several important functions, and to help you remember those, just remember the word STOP. S stands for sensory assistance. Our nails actually provide input for the nerves in the underlying skin tissue. T is for tool functionality. Our nails allow us to do things such as dig around, scratch the skin, grasp objects, or even pick your nose. You know you've done it before, don't lie. O stands for ornament. Nails can act as a beauty accessory in many cultures. And then P stands for protection. Our nails protect and support the distal ends of our digits as we use them for various tasks. Interestingly, nails also have an important clinical relevance. For example, nurses may perform something called a capillary refill test, which can help assess for things like dehydration or blood flow in the extremities. In addition, unusual nail characteristics such as horizontal ridges or discoloration can also point to underlying health problems. Now let's take a look at the anatomy of the nail unit, starting with the nail itself. The free edge is the distal most part of the nail that you have to trim with those fingernail clippers. And it often has a whitish appearance as it grows out because this part of the nail is no longer attached to the underlying nail bed, which is what actually gives the nail body its pinkish color. Now the nail body makes up that hard visible portion of the fingernail that attaches to the underlying nail bed. And it's made of dead keratinocytes that are translucent, again, allowing the color of that underlying tissue you to shine through. Now the plate itself can be divided into three main layers, a dorsal or top layer, an intermediate or middle layer, and then a ventral or bottom layer. And then finally we have the nail's root, and this is just the proximal most portion of the nail that is hidden within the skin. Now let's take a look at some of the underlying tissues that help create and support the nail plate. The germinal matrix is under the skin and it originates behind or proximal to the root of the nail. The nail matrix causes most of the nail's growth by creating new cells that continually migrate forward and eventually they flatten out and lose their nuclei. This matrix can extend all the way to the proximal part of the nail body and is sometimes visible as the lunula. And the lunula's name means little moon. And this is actually the distal end of that nail matrix, which is not translucent like the nail's body, so it has a different color. And the lunula tends to be most visible on your thumb. However, on other digits, you may not really see it. On my hand, you can only see it on digits one through three, but some people you can actually see it on all five digits, and some people you might not even see it at all. But let me know in the comments below if you can see it on all five of your digits. Now, if the lunula begins to disappear from all your fingers, it could potentially be due to an underlying disease or something like kidney failure, so you want to keep that in mind. Next, we have the nail bed, which is also called the sterile matrix. And this is the area found between the lunula of the nail matrix and the hyponychium. And the nail bed allows for the attachment of the nail body. And the dermis and epidermis of the nail bed often form into these longitudinal ridges. And sometimes if you look closely, you can see these small vertical ridges on the nail plate itself. And these ridges can be normal. However, if you ever notice really deep ridges or even horizontal ridges in the nails, could indicate an underlying health issue. Now you also have these folds of skin that surround that nail plate. The proximal fold is the fold of skin near the proximal end or the origination point of the nail plate. So it's right along the bottom of the nail. And then the lateral folds lay on each side of the nail plate. And then finally, we're going to have different tissues that help form a seal between the nail and those folds around the nail. And all of these different tissues end in the word nicium. And nicium just comes from an old word that means little claw, and it's talking about your nail, your fingernail. And when you look at the prefix, it's going to tell you where this tissue is located relative to the fingernail. 
Now remember the prefix hypo means under or below, and again, nicium is a little claw, so the hyponicium is going to be just under the free edge of the little claw, and distal to the nail bed. And this is rich in white blood cells, and it, again, it forms a seal between the nail plate and the nail bed. Now the peronicium is the tissue along the border of the nail plate at its lateral folds. And the prefix pero or para means alongside or beside, and nicium just again referring to the nail. Next, the eponicium is the thin layer of tissue on the ventral surface of the proximal fold that covers seals and protects the nail's matrix and root. Now the prefix epo or epi means over or upon, so this is over or upon the nail at its root. Now the cuticle is this thin, dead, transparent tissue produced by the eponychium, and it extends onto the base of the nail plate to help seal and protect it. And then finally, we have the perionychium. Peri basically means all around, and so the perionychium includes the peronychium, the eponychium, hyponychium, those lateral and proximal folds, and the nail bed and matrix. Okay, that wraps up this video over the anatomy of the nail unit. We have a free quiz you can take. Link is in the description below. We also have a bunch of other anatomy videos you can check out. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.